Okay, so here's what we've got cooked up here. We've got Arduino using the standalone uh, bootloader, and it is actually connected with the ISP over to this Arduino, which is uh, chipless, which I've uh, put the socket in there. It's connected to the computer via this. So the procedure would be take your uh, blank chip, drop it into the socket. Uh, so both boards here are being powered by USB, so you hit the button here, it triggers the bootloader, you get the sound that signals the correct bootloading, it takes only a couple seconds, and then, uh, so this is now an UNO chip, and you come up and uh, upload your firmware via uh, Arduino. And that process there is done, so that's well, maybe 10 seconds. Um, it's much quicker than the other way, so we'll pop it into test rig. So now it's it's uh, become an Arduino. Uh, it's got the firm loader, what firm firmware loaded on it, so it passes that first part of the check. But since there's no EEPROM loaded, it doesn't pass the the second check. Um, so that's where I'm at on this. Much quicker, but it still leaves those EEPROM values out. Um, let's see, so one more thing I can show you here is uh, the, uh, the bootloader thing. So for instance, if we put a chip in wrong or uh, for some reason it doesn't correctly bootload, it gives you this siren sound and then you just reset the chip. So that gives you an indication that there's a problem with the uh, the bootloading process. Alright, I hope that's going to work for you.